Hi and welcome to the unboxing of yeah, Mighty Morphin Eye Guy. As you can see, it's a huge box, like like really huge, uh, thick, big, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a big monster, and this unboxing, as you can see, the typical roundabout showing box from all corners, basically besides top and bottom. Um, yeah, I like the figure in a whole, for starters, to get a bit quick with this. Uh, but there will be some rambling, um, because I know Hasbro is always saying, dudes, guys, girls, we're listening. Um, maybe to a certain point they're listening, but not entirely. Um, I shown you this guy, we'll get it out of the box and we'll talk a bit about it uh, in between as always. I, I saved myself some time and opened up the box. Um, it, it came from Amazon, uh, from Amazon.com from the US to be exact. And it was in a box, not in a bubble mailer. And it has some cushion in there, but still uh, it has a dent in here. Um, but I don't really mind because I say this more than once. I'm not an inbox collector, but still I want to keep everything as good as possible. And I have to make sure that I don't make any more damage to this that happened already. Okay, let's get this guy out. As quiet as possible, as always. Um, the figure is really huge, like like um, heavy, and that's the point where I'm. Hmm, where to put this here? Um, where I'm want to ramble about a bit. Um, here's an extra piece to keep it nice and sturdy inside. We'll make some noise. Sorry. Uh, here's how. Eye guy comes in box, the figure itself, the floating eye which is on a stand to look like floating, it's transparent, some uh, unique effect pieces and extra hands. Um, yeah, I guess I get eye guy out here uh, and then I will ramble a bit and show you the figure. Uh, there's not much where I can say which I don't like at this figure, but in whole I really like it. But enough uh, pre-rambling. See you in a sec. Good, clean, fast, easy. Um, as always, I keep the extra hands in here. Uh, they're ch just two fists and I don't bother too much with that because he has two good hands here and the, the biggest issue that everybody has with Monsters and Lightning Collection is, well, not all, some of them are way too big. I know monsters should tower over the ranges. That's good. There are monsters in different sizes and shapes, of course. Some are bigger than others, but yeah, I have something prepared. This guy has to be our example. Look how big he is. This is too big for a, for a monster. For, for an... Actually, for a figure. Um, I guess Hasbro, I, I will compare this in a moment again, oh, I was scribbling, sorry. Uh, Hasbro find an excuse for that for future stuff, like with um, Piranha's head. He's now part of deluxe figures, deluxe monsters. <laughs> so so th we, we have deluxe figures, which are a bit bigger, so that's excuse for like bigger figures. Uh, yeah, I, I really like Piranha's head. I've seen the the, uh, and the monsters in a whole. You need monsters to fight rangers and the other way around because if you have the good guys and you have nobody fight, that's not good. That's not good. But as I said, this thing is is really huge. Um, what is cool? Uh, I have to that here because I can't do that in reverse with camera and stuff. Now I can a bit. You can open and close the islands, which is really nice. Um, a bit limited because of the bulkiness, articulation-wise. I mean, if I would compare it to a 
other uh, franchise like Marvel, he would be like a big figure like Hulk maybe. I, I would reckon if we got a Hulk and we got a normal Avenger like Iron Man, this would be like, this would fit. But, I mean... Let's closer to the can as you can see. This is this is too huge. I, I mean everybody rambles about that and but in general the scout thing is really nice and the second issue that not only I have, and I hurt myself and I don't even know where how uh, is yeah it lacks of paint. Um uh, not every eye is painted on the back, on the side and everywhere. Which is Understandable because of the price point it's cost some money already and if they did put paint everything it would be more money and I'm willingly happy to pay a bit more for more quality but the price has increased already so eh, I guess a black wash with this and some extra paint on some eyes and this is a awesome figure he says in, in general as you can see Pretty nice. Um, you can um, take out this part. Uh, I, I try. Yeah. Uh, I keep it with trying. Okay. I, I I won't do that because I might break something. I'm scared and also um, scared of breaking it. Also would ruin something. Uh, here it might be easier. I, I will hope so. It's the same deal. You can do that on Eye Guy itself. Here's a lens in it, which won't come out. Fucking hell, sorry. Um, too much British shows, I guess. I can't get it out here. Eh, come on. I guess you should take like like a screwdriver or like a knife and pop it out. The idea is basically you have this extra effect piece, which goes in here to shoot like a laser works here and here but you have to take the lens out um, I like the idea of this um, he had that in his show and as I said for Phantom Ranger he's our protege who helps compare size wise um, I guys yeah size difference is really mm, we had the wolf monsters in the past King's Wings was a good example uh, King's Wings is on the shelf uh, but way too uh, far in the back to get him out. I don't know if King's Wings is even taller than him or he towers over King's Wings, which would be worse. Um, seeing him in person uh, is a better impression if you see him just on camera. Um, but in a whole, uh, I think this is a totally fine figure. If you're not that fuzz about Eye Guy, I can understand that. Um, I will support the line. I, I like the monsters. I like the rangers, but I'm I always I'm basically a hundred percent collector, but I make exceptions for myself. Zords hundred percent. I want those as complete as I can get. But um, lightning collection, for example, there's this cell shaded pink figure where like uh, I don't need like a second in space blue ranger with a glider which has some issues. Where they messed up the uh, front symbol, which is on the ranger's belts. Is, yeah, I rambled in a different video in the past enough. But yeah, um, as I said, if you don't say uh, not mine because color, like like of paint basically, and and too big, totally understand that. I like the guy for the design things and such. Maybe I will send it to Shadow Wist to ask for a black wash or something like that, or Matanka. I don't know. Rangers Forge, uh, if he finds some time, um, one of those two guys. I, I don't dare to try it black wash on those. I'm not skilled enough for that. I would just keep him like that because I like the guy. Um, but what I would say, if if you want to uh, show some love, support the figure if it's on sale. Maybe I, I I reckon this goes on sale like other like like pumpkin wrapper or like Kingswings. Grab it if you get it for a good price and you kind of have like, uh, maybe take it. If you don't like it at all, skip it. Would understand that as well, but um, I want to support the line because as nutty as Sans and as crazy Hasbro is in 
later days, they have some really downers with Lunarville, for example. Rambling video in my vlog playlist. Uh, they have a lot of good examples, which is Phantom Ranger, for example. Looks amazing. Um, Finster is an awesome figure. Or Ecliptor from the two pack. There's a lot of really good examples for how good Hasbro can be, and I hope they keep up the good work and don't screw up that much in the future. So I will support the line as good as I can, with as I some exceptions or like doubles, which I don't need. I'm not that fuss about like, oh, here's a new Red Ranger we got in the past. He has one new gun. Nah, not paying that. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, I made that with uh, Lost Galaxy Red, but it was some like like this big blaster, not just like a handgun or something. But enough rambling, um, show this off as I wanted to, um, this will go on the shelf and I hope uh, they are, as much as I love Mighty Morphin, <sighs> Hasbro, please, please, different stuff than Mighty Morphin, at least not season one. My season one display is like exploding, I don't know where to put this stuff anymore. I have to, when it goes further down like with this, I have to go like one shelf down, expand, and make like a season one display with two shelves, or I don't know, get some uh, some height in there with with some shel shelving uh, stairs or something like with acrylic stuff. Like I guess I will get get a picture that you know what I'm talking about. But as I said, enough rambling, enough talking. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. With the, if that's the case, and you didn't have already, uh, check out my uh, friends. Uh, there are my recommendations on my main page or in the link in the video description and click the bell I want to reach like 500 subs at the end of the year we have February oh, we have February oh no we have March already uh, I don't have any feeling for time for in space anymore um, but yeah I guess that's doable um, it's free it doesn't hurt uh, it helps me out a lot and don't forget the bell to get notified when new content comes up so See you next time.